and welcome to yet another episode of learning how to slap the bass. Dang it, I shouldn't have done it. It's the sixth episode of this series. I am getting uh, uh, not proficient, maybe. I am starting to understand how slapping works. Today I want to try some different uh, techniques, uh, some different styles and of course I'm gonna jam with Davy at the end of this video. One other thing I promised uh, in the description of my last episode was that I would have changed uh, the strings of this bass. This bass was both probably, I don't know, let me check. I bought this bass on November, I don't know if you can see it, November the 17th, 2012. It's almost eight years ago. The strings were already on it. They've never changed them. Because obviously I don't play this instrument live. I, I've done it once, only once in a theater. I've read online that changing the strings that changes the quality of the slapping of the sound quite a lot. It might not be the case for me because I am an amateur, a noob, if you want to. First thing first, it seems that I'm going to need this thing because I'm gonna cut the strings. First I've got to loosen all the strings. Okay, I guess the moment I can do this thing there should be no problem in cutting them. Let's see, let's hope. Yeah! yeah. And I have both these Sansone strings. These are handcrafted uh, Italian strings for electric bass. I bought the 042 size. Let's get rid of some dust. There is an insect, a dead insect. I don't know where it's coming from. Dust goes away. Hear the sirens. Hear the circus of profan. Nice. You want the last one to be in the bottom, not the top. This bass has a string tree in the headstock, so make sure on your G and D strings. This is completely different. This is already completely different. Amazing. I just found out that what I recorded before uh, was not saved on my computer. So I've got the video but I haven't got the audio so the video quality of what you've just seen is probably terrible. I'm going to take a walk right now because I got nervous for the fact that I didn't uh, remember to save the files. And it's important to keep yourself in at least a decent shape. Normally I do theater, I do a lot of activities that at least keep me moving. But during these weeks at home I haven't had the possibility of moving that much. So I decided to take a walk also because it's a really nice day today. This is my neighbor's dog. It always tries to bring me a ball. The weather is rather crazy. There are probably 15 degrees right now and yesterday it snowed as I was expecting. There are also these flowers. I don't know the name in English actually. They're called primule in Italian and they are usually the first flowers to blossom during springtime. Pretty fun to see that there are still the shells of chestnuts with these flowers. So much water here probably means that the waterfall that there is right above here is active. And that doesn't happen very often. It's usually when the snow is melting or when it rains quite a lot for a few days and then it stays active for a couple of days. Well, this is a little bit disappointing. <laughs> there is this much water coming down from here. Normally, that part here is a waterfall as well. I have always been amazed <laughs> by this plant. Day two. Hello everybody, this is Major7. It's been two days since that walk I took because I got nervous for not saving. Uh, what I was working with. When I came back I had to work so I couldn't go on practicing. Yesterday I couldn't as well or at least I decided not to do it because I have got a new tattoo. If you know what this tattoo is uh, please write it in the comments and I didn't want to scrape it uh, uh, on the base. Today I want to practice so uh, I'm going to apply a uh, sort of protection. Nice, let's secure it into position. This way it should definitely be better. The other thing I did was uh, changing the strings. So, let's give it a try. I think that the action of the last two strings is definitely too low. So the big problem I have with this low action is here, with the, uh, with the old strings it would not happen, but with these ones, uh, as soon as I get here, Here, I can't even play the notes. Uh, at least on the rest uh, of the instrument it plays. 
Today I really want to focus on jamming with Dave because I wasn't satisfied of uh, the last try I gave it. From now on I'm simply gonna try to play on his track and to see if I can come up with something decent this time. Three hours later. I was getting hungry so I decided to start cooking something. So today I'm having uh, sweet and sour peppers. The other dish is fegato alla vicentina. That is liver with onions uh, and parsley. Oh, <clears throat> I've just finished eating. Let's give it another try. You know what? Let's jam together now. I'm proud of you. That was it for today. It's starting to be a little better, definitely. Tomorrow is gonna be the last day, so I will try my best to be perfect. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye by Major7.